Hey everyone, it's Stephanie with My Time Fitness, and today is our day two of our three day 30 challenge total body strength workout. So, we are going to start off with a warm up, which is eight exercises, one time through about four minutes long. And then we have two groups of 45 seconds on, 15 off, five exercises twice through about 10 minutes a piece. And then we'll finish up with that cool down, which is 12 exercises, about six minutes long, one time through. So if you haven't already, make sure you hit that like and that subscribe button, and let's get going. All right, let's get started with that warm up. We are going to start off with an overhead reach and a side bend. So just come up and reach, come down, and bend off to one of those sides. Reach and one of those sides. Make sure you're breathing. Next up, we have a chest opener plus a bow pull. Bow pull, if I can speak today. So we're going to come open that chest and then bow pull. Open the chest, come back for that bow pull. Next up we have torso rotations. So just right here, just nice, nice slow rotations through that trunk. Try to keep those hips stationary. We're gonna switch here, reverse your direction. Next up, we have a high knee march. So just get those knees up there to hip height. Get those arms going. You can pick up the speed a little bit. Just get that nice range of motion. Next up, we have a good morning. Use those glutes to bring you back up. Keep that core nice and tight. If you need a little bend in those knees, that's okay. Next up, we have zombie kicks. Throw it up here. Oops, I'm already doing the wrong thing. <laughs> Same uh, toe, the same side hand. Just kick them up there. Nice and controlled. Don't lose your balance like I almost did. Next up, we have walkouts. We're gonna come down, walk it out the plank, and walk back. Four guys tonight, you need to bend those knees and bend them all the way up. Those hamstrings are too tight. And lastly, we are going to end with butt kickers. Just kick yourself in the butt. Alright, let's get into group one. 
All right, we're ready to get group one started. We are going to start off with a reverse lunge plus a knee with a bicep curl. I'm using 12 pounds per hand. You use what you need to use. So we're gonna come back for that reverse lunge, come up with a knee and a bicep curl. And then we're gonna put that foot down and switch. Reverse lunge, knee, bicep curl. If those weights get in your way, you can do a hammer curl like I am instead. Just keep it going. Make sure you keep those arms pinned by your sides. If the knee is too much for you, you don't have to bring it up. You can keep that knee down instead. Next up, we have a halo plus a tricep extension. I'm going to use one 12 pound weight. Again, you pick a weight that is good for you. So I'm going to come down a little bit, keep it nice and tight around that head, come up for that tricep extension, and then back around. Then we're going to reverse it. Keep that core nice and tight, and then reverse. Take a weight that will challenge you, but also one that you can perform the exercise with good form. If you need to drop that weight, you can drop that weight. Next, we have a squat plus an inch. So I'm going to use 12 pounds per hand again. I'm just going to keep those weights at my side so we can touch down. To our ankles. So we're going to come squat down and get down to those ankles. A narrow, a narrower squat here is okay so we can get down to those ankles. Just keep that chest lifted. Breathe on the way up. Or sorry. <laughs> Inhale on the way down. Exhale on the way up. If this is too much for you, just a regular squat is okay. You can squat, you can rack those weights. You don't have to go down and touch your ankles if it's too much on those knees. Next up, we have a bridge plus a toe touch crunch. So I'm just gonna come down with one weight, lay back. I'm gonna pop up into that bridge. And you're gonna come up for that bridge, and then kick those feet up, and the toe touch crunch. Back down to that bridge. If you don't want to use a weight here, that is completely okay. Get there for that bridge. Nice squeeze at the top, and crunch. And we will be repeating all these exercises one more time. So if you were a little um, slower to begin with, getting the exercises down, again, it's completely okay because we're doing this again. All right, next I'm gonna grab three pounds because we're gonna do a reverse fly plus a ventral raise. And it's a more difficult range of motion. So you're gonna hinge at those hips Bend those knees a little bit. You're gonna come up for that reverse fly. And then switch hand positions and bring up for a ventral raise. It's nice and controlled. I'm only using three pounds per hand here. You're definitely gonna want a lighter weight. Keep breathing. Keep that core nice and tight, that back nice and flat. A 
All right, we're going back to that reverse lunge, uh, plus a knee, and a bicep curl. Ooh, my hair is all in my face. I don't know about you, but I'm sweating bad already. <laughs> so, that reverse lunge, come up for that knee, and a bicep curl, or a hammer curl. Again, this is a really good workout for a nice balance challenge. If this is too much for you, like I said, just go down for that lunge, come up, and do that curl. You need to keep that foot kind of on the tip of your toe just to start off with that balance challenge to get your body used to the idea. Do that halo with a tricep extension again. Again, I'm using 12 pounds, just one 12 pound weight. Oh man, it's hot. <laughs> so we're gonna come down. Oops, hello. I'm not doing a tricep extension yet. I must be getting tired because my brain isn't wanting to work how I want it to. <laughs> Just keep it nice and tight around that, around that head. Keep that core nice and tight. Keep breathing. After this group, we get our water break. All right, we're back for that squat plus um, that ankle toe touch. I'm gonna to use 12 pounds per hand here. Again, with that more narrow squat so we can reach those ankles. Again, just sit back in that chair. Keep that chest nice and lifted. Keep breathing. More than halfway done. Right, I'm gonna grab that one 10 pound dumbbell for that bridge and that toe touch crunch. So come back down. Get ready for that bridge. Come up and squeeze. Bring up those feet. Ooh, and crunch. Ooh. We're so close to that water break. You're already breaking a good sweat. Let me know in the comments below. Really hope you're enjoying this workout. It's definitely a killer. All right, let's come up for that reverse fly and ventral raise. Again, with the three pounds per hand. Catch that breath. That nice controlled fly. And ventral raise. Keep that core nice and tight. More than halfway done, keep it going. Then we get that water break. About 10 seconds left. You got this, keep it, keep it going. Whew. Oh my goodness. That was an awesome 
first group. Go get a drink of water. Make sure you come back and we'll get into group two. All right, we're back with group two. Let's get started with that curtsy lunge plus two side leg raises. So I'm gonna use 12 pounds per hand. I'm gonna rack my weights so they don't get in the way. We're gonna come step back with that curtsy lunge, come up into controlled, whoops, controlled <laughs> side leg raises. I can tell my legs are already getting tired because they don't want to support me. <laughs> Step back. Nice and controlled lifts here. If the curtsy is too much for you, you can just come do a nice gentle step back and then those leg raises. Alright, next up we have a push up plus a row. So we're gonna come down, actually we're just gonna use one weight because my weights, I can't push up off my weights. So I'm gonna come down to my knees. I'm gonna do a push up, grab that weight, and do a row. And do a row on each side. If you can do a full push up off your weights, it's a lot easier. But not all, not all weights are um, built the same way to be able to do a push-up off of. If you can do that full push-up, go for it. Just a nice pullback on that row. Pull it straight up and back. Alright, next up. We have, I'm going to use 12 pounds per hand. We have a deadlift to a squat to an overhead press. So hands at those hips, core tight, back flat. Nice slight bend in those knees for that deadlift. Come up, squat, and overhead press. And then bring those weights back down. Deadlift. Squat and press. Back down for the deadlift. Squat and press. Keep it going. Next up, we have a Russian twist plus a pulse. I'm gonna come down with, I'm gonna try an eight pound weight here. Sit back, core nice and tight. Lay back as far as you can. We're gonna twist, twist, come up for a pulse. Twist, twist, come up for a pulse. Make sure you're sitting back a little bit so you have room to Come up for that pulse, just all through that core. Keep it nice and tight. If you want it harder, you can lift those legs up, twist, twist, and pulse up, which takes a lot of leg strength as well. And my legs are already about toast. We have one more exercise in this group, and then we're repeating. So we have a plank plus a moving reach. So I'm just gonna take um, a two pound, two pound weights. I'm gonna stay in the uh, knee plank here. And you're gonna come up to the front, down to the side, and to the back, and back. And then you're gonna switch that. Up, down to your side, to the back, back up, and down, and switch. 
If you want to do a full plank here with no weights, that is completely fine too. You will still get in a lot of work when you're doing that, that motion. Keep that core nice and tight. Okay, now we're back for a curtsy lunge with the two side leg raises. Using 12 pounds per hand again. Try and catch your breath. Step back for that curtsy. Up to controlled side leg raises. Gosh, man, I'm gonna look like a sweaty mess. I know we don't get a long uh, rest, but that helps keep the cardio component up high and get that heart rate up there, burn more calories, which is what we want. All right, we're back to that push-up plus a row. I'm gonna take one eight-pound weight. Shake it out a little bit if you need to. Wipe that sweat off. Come down. And a nice row. Close row. Drop my 
leg, my arms are about toast. Yeah, I'm just gonna do body weight because my arms are so shaky. But we're almost there, 10 more seconds. Oh wait, look at this uh, 30 day 30 challenge has been quite the challenge. I hope you uh, have been enjoying it thus far. You will have to let me know down in the comments below if it's been challenging for you as well. But let's go get a quick drink of water and we're gonna come back to that cool down. All right, let's get into our cool down. We are gonna start with a freestyle shake out, one of my favorites. Just shake, shake it all out. Shake out those wrists, those arms, the legs, nice kick, nice hip opener, whatever, whatever you need. Just shake everything out. Next up, we have an overhead reach plus a toe touch. Nice wrist rolls here. They did a lot of work today. All right, we're gonna plant those feet. Overhead reach, stretch to one side and the other. Come down for that toe touch. In a couple seconds down here, bring it back up in that reach. Nice, slow, deep breaths in through your nose and out through your mouth. To calm that heart rate. Next up, we have a chest opener plus a step back. So I'm gonna open that chest as we step back. Just open that chest. Next up, we have a wide toe touch plus a shoulder stretch. We're gonna come down for that wide toe touch and bring those arms up, clasp those hands together, bring them as forward as possible. Maybe move those hips a little bit. If this is too much on your shoulders, you can bring them down. Next up, we have a modified pigeon pose on our left side. <coughs> So we're gonna come down. Put that left knee in front of us. Extend that right side and just set up, chest up as much as much as as much as possible. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> Next up we have a deep runners lunge on our um, left side. Up. Put that runner's lunge on our left side. Or sorry, deep runner's lunge. <laughs> deep runner's lunge on the left side, not a deep side lunge. I'm sorry, my brain is, uh, I must need some carbs. <laughs> Next, we're going to switch to this deep runner's lunge on our right side. If you want, you can bring that foot up in this position as well. If you want to, to relax a little bit more so it's not as much work, you can come down on that knee. Next up, we have a modified pigeon on our right. So we're just going to curl that right leg in front of us. So our left is now extended. We're going to sit up as much as possible. Next, we're going to go into a Sphinx pose. So bring that leg back, come down on your stomach, those arms out in front of you, 
and just shoulders down and back, head up. Do you, any of you have dogs who like to drop loud toys on the ground? <laughs> They're always so loud upstairs and I'm just like, really? <laughs> All right, we're gonna lay down for a light quad stretch on our left side. So just rest that head, bring that left foot up to your left, um, left glute. Don't pull too hard. You don't want to hyperextend that knee. Next up, we are doing the same thing on the right side. Go ahead and switch. Your heart rate should be about back to normal at this point. We're going to finish up with a full body stretch.